In this video, we have IQ Z9s smartphone and in this video, I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden features of this smartphone. So if you're planning to purchase this phone or you have bought this phone, then this video can be really helpful for you. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. This phone have this cool feature of dynamic light, but it is enabled for incoming calls only. But if you want to set it for different notifications of different apps, for example, for WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. Then simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on shortcut and accessibility. Again, scroll down. There you will see the option of dynamic light. Click on this and then click on notifications. As you can see, by default, it is disabled. Firstly, enable this. By default, it will select all the apps. But if you want to select specific apps, then firstly, disable all apps. Then select the apps for which you want to use this dynamic light. For example, I want to use it for Snapchat. Now, if any message will come from Snapchat, then it will show that dynamic light on the back of the phone. If you're using your phone with a single hand, then it feels really uneasy to reach at the top and open this control center. But there's a gesture for this. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on home settings. There you will see the option of swipe downwards on home screen. Click on this. By default, it is selected to global search. You have to select notification center. Now, whenever you are on home screen, you can simply swipe down on the empty area like this. Then it will open your control center and your notification center. Whenever your phone is locked, anyone can access your control center and change any of these settings. But if you want to disable this, then follow these steps. Open your settings, scroll down and then click on lock screen and wallpaper and then click on lock screen settings. There you will see the option of open control center from the lock screen. Simply disable this. Now whenever your phone is locked, no one can access your control center and change any of those settings. If you want to use two applications at the same time in a single screen, then you can do that with the help of a simple gesture. Simply open the first application and then swipe up by using three fingers like this. And then select the second application you want to use. As you can see, you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen. You can also enable double tap to lock and double tap to wake your screen of feature. To enable this, open your settings, scroll down and then click on shortcuts and accessibility. There you will see the option of smart motion. Click on this and then click on smart screen on or off. Firstly, enable double tap to wake and also enable double tap to turn off. Now, whenever you are on home screen, you can simply double tap on the empty area to lock your smartphone and double tap on the locked screen to wake your screen up. If you are not a fan of this app drawer and you want all your apps on your home screen, then simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on home settings. There on the top, you will see the option of home screen style. Click on this. By default, it is selected to draw. You have to select standard. Now it will bring all the apps on your home screen and disable this app drawer. If you want to enable shake to turn on your flashlight feature, then open your settings, scroll down and then click on shortcut and accessibility and then click on smart motion. There on the bottom, you will see the option of shake to turn on the flashlight. Simply enable this. Now you can simply shake your phone like this, then it will turn on your flashlight. If you will long press the power button, then it will launch this voice assistant application instead of opening your power menu. If you want to set it to power menu, then open your settings and then click on shortcut and accessibility. There you will see the option of press and hold power button. Click on this and then click on press and hold power button. By default, it is selected to launch assistant. You have to select enable power menu. Now, whenever you will long press your power button, then it will launch your power menu. But if you want to keep this as voice assistant, now if you want to open your power menu, then you can press the volume up button and power button at the same time, then it will launch your power menu. By default, this phone doesn't show battery percentage in your status bar. To enable this, open your settings, scroll down and then click on display, scroll down and then click on status bar. There you will see the option of battery style and percentage. Click on this. You can select different style and you can also select how you want to show your battery percentage. If you want to show outside battery, then click on outside battery. Otherwise, click on inside battery. So that's how you can enable battery percentage in your status bar. You can also read deleted messages from WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. But you must enable the next feature. Open your settings, scroll down and then click on notifications. There you will see the option of notification history. Simply enable this and also enable this use notification history. Now it will save all the notifications here and you will be able to read them after anybody will delete them. You can also clone any application or make dual of that application with the help of a simple feature. Simply open your settings and then click on apps. There you will see the option of app clone. Click on this. It will show all the application which are clonable in your smartphone. Select the app you want to clone. It will take few seconds after that it will make a clone of that application and you will be able to log in with two different accounts in a single application. As you can see in my app drawer, I have two snapchats now. 
This phone comes with a AOD feature that is always on display but by default this feature is disabled. To enable this open your settings, scroll down and click on lock screen and wallpaper. There you will see the option of always on display. Click on this, firstly enable always on display. There are cool styles as well. To select different styles, simply click on AOD styles. As you can see, there are a lot of styles. You can select your favorite one and then click on apply. Now whenever your phone is locked, it will show that specific AOD style in your smartphone. If you like to multitask in your smartphone, then you must use this smart sidebar feature. By default, this feature is enabled. You have to simply swipe to the left from the corner and then it will open your sidebar. You can also edit this. Simply click on this little arrow and then click on edit. Remove unnecessary application from this and then you can also add important application here. After this, click on done. Now if you will open any application from this sidebar, it will open it in floating window. You can resize it from the edges, drag and drop it anywhere. Now you can keep on using your smartphone normally and it will remain as floating window just like your desktop and your laptop. If you use your phone at night a lot, then you must use next three features to protect your eyes. The first one is simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on shortcut and accessibility. Scroll down at the bottom and then click on accessibility. There you will see the option of extra dim. If you will enable this, then it will dim your screen beyond your phone's minimum brightness. So you can use this feature if you use your phone at night. The next feature is simply open your display and brightness and then click on dark theme. If you will enable this, then it will turn all the whites into blacks. It will decrease the pressure on your eyes. And the last one is eye protection. If you will enable this, then it will warm the color of your screen and this will also decrease the pressure on your eyes. Then you must use these three features if you use your phone at night a lot. You can fully customize your lock screen. You can change the clock style, fonts. You can also add your name here and change these quick app settings. To customize this, simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on lock screen and wallpaper and then click on lock screen setting. Click on custom lock screen. Now if you want to change this fonts of these clock, click on this. Here you have different options. You can also select different styles and you can also change the color. Now if you want to add your name, then click on add quick information and then click on this edit button. Now add your name here and then click on OK. Now if you want to change these quick apps, then select the app and you can select your favorite application here. You can also change this one. After this, click on apply. Now it will fully customize your lock screen. If you want to monitor your real time internet speed or show net speed in your status bar, then you don't have to download any third party for that. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on display and brightness. Scroll down and then click on status bar. There you will see the option of show real time network speed. Simply enable this, then it will start showing your internet speed in your status bar. If you want to change the position of these three buttons or if you want to set it to gesture navigation, then open your settings. Scroll down to the bottom and then click on system. There you will see the option of system navigation. Click on this. Now if you want to change the position, here you have different orders. Select your favorite one. Then it will change the position of these three buttons. Now if you want to set it to gesture navigation, then select the gesture navigation. Now you can go back like this. Open your recent apps like this and also jump to the lock screen like this. In the smartphone, you can also customize different animations like charging animation, fingerprint animation, etc. To customize this, simply open your settings and then click on dynamic effects. Here you have different options. For example, if you want to change the fingerprint icon animation, then select this one. You have different options. Select your favorite one and then click on apply. And if you want to change the charging animation, then select the charging animation. Here you have different options. Select your favorite one and then click on apply. Here is a special feature of ambient light. By default, this feature is disabled. Simply click on this. You can set this effect for music, incoming calls and notification. So it will show uh, edge lighting on the corner of your screen when someone will call you or any notification will come. When your phone is locked, you can long press the volume down button to turn on your flashlight and again long press your volume down button to turn it off. But if you want to set different app for this, then simply open your settings and then click on shortcut and accessibility. There you will see the option of quick action. Click on this. By default, it is selected turn on or off flashlight, but you have to select open app. Then it will show all the apps which are installed in your smartphone. Select your favorite application. And now whenever your phone is logged, you can simply long press your volume down button. Then it will automatically launch your favorite application. If you have different apps spilled on your home screen here and there, and if you want to set it in order, then simply pinch in on the home screen like this. 
and then shake your phone then it will automatically set all your application in order. This phone have a AI feature called AI Erase so with the help of that you can remove unnecessary object from any image. For example if I want to remove this then simply click on edit and there you will see the option of AI Erase. Click on this and then select the object you want to erase like this and then click on this right icon then it will automatically remove that object from your image. You can also enable one handed mode in the smartphone to enable this open your settings and then click on shortcut and accessibility there you will see the option of one handed mode click on this and then enable this now you can also enable this by simply swiping from the edge like this you have to swipe and then it will keep your phone in the one handed mode and you will be able to use your phone with a single hand now if you want to exit this then simply click on this cross. So these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature for IQ Z9s smartphone. If you like this video then hit that like button and we'll see you in the next one. Till then have fun and keep on exploring your smartphone.